Uh, hello, guys. Um, I just got done watching a movie. I just put out a bulletin, too, um, about it. But I just watched The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And um, if you haven't seen this movie or you've never heard of it, you need to please watch this movie. Um, I'm speechless. It, I mean, it, everybody knows what happened with uh, Nazi Germany, but it was, uh, I don't know. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really think the movie was going to turn out the way that it did. Um, so, I mean, I'm not even going to give any of it away. Uh, it's about, um, a high ranking Nazi officer, if that counts for anything at all. Um, and he has a family and, um, a young boy and a young, and a 12 year old daughter and his wife and, uh, it's basically about how so many people were left in the dark as to what it really meant the whole Nazi thing um, yeah so I mean I it's not that I, I I just don't want to tell you what the movie's completely about I don't want to give it away I hate previews of movies that do that so and I also hate it when people give a review of a movie and do that. Um, so, I just definitely want to hear some feedback on this from you guys. I want to know if you've seen it or if you plan to see it, you know. And, and I also want to know if you have seen it, I want you to tell me what you thought about it. Um, see, my, my family, my, one, well, one side of my family is German and, um, my grandmother and her siblings um, they fled Germany during those times and um, they were just little kids babies and toddlers um, my great-grandparents brought them over to America um, you know to escape the Nazi regime movement whatever you want to call that uh, the dictatorship um, uh, and and even though I know that my family had nothing to do with it, it, it just, it still sickens me somewhat to know that my blood, you know, that I'm German, that, that somewhat sickens me. Um, but in the movie it shows how easily it, the Nazis duped the masses into believing what they were saying you know the propaganda films and the, it shows uh, how it, how it affected young people and um, and things like that uh, yeah so uh, anyway <laughs> I just wanted to make this and I don't know I just it, it affected me and 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 there's a lot of movies that do that. I mean, I'm a pretty emotional guy. Uh, but this affects me. And... Yeah. It just makes you realize how... How fragile the human mind is. And how... You know, the, not mine, obviously. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, like... Masses of people being duped into believing things that are just pushed out there in front of them this goes goes to prove how how fragile the human mind can be um, and I'm trying to segue into this whole discussion I'm having with this idiot uh, God guns guts glory um, I'm trying to keep it my my discussion with him i'm trying to keep it civilized but uh uh he's he's very narrow minded and narrow minded closed minded um very right wing which is 
his right. I mean, if 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 he chooses to be that way, that's his right. But um, I'm not asking anyone to go there and say anything hateful to him. He he probably he probably won't um, post your comment if it's negative anyway, um, or too negative. Um, he's one of those Christian people that don't do that. You know, they don't allow comments or ratings or any of that sort of stuff. So, obviously he favors censorship, and uh, I don't know. That's all I'm saying is is, is the, the human mind is a fragile, fragile thing. As strong as it can be, it's still fragile. And if it's manipulated by the wrong people or people with an agenda, this guy is trying to, to say the opposite of what I'm saying. Basically, he's... He's saying, you know, the gay agenda, the gay agenda, you know, the gay agenda. Um, saying that, well, whatever, you'll see the conversation. If you go, if you go to his channel, you'll see it. He's only got a couple of videos. Uh, Spearmaster said that he would give the link to the video to certain people who PM'd him, but I'm private message him, but... I'm telling you, if you want to see it, I'm gonna put a link in the sidebar right over there, um, and you can go you can go by and you can at least see what it is that I'm talking about with the guy. Um, he keeps putting this irrefutable logic statement out there that that he's right and everyone else is wrong apparently, or not just him, but you know people who are against gay rights saying that they want special rights and things like that. It's that sort of thing that if it's pumped out there enough that will prevent gay people from ever getting any sort of respect. And it's just fucking ridiculous that, that people can be so narrow-minded to think that gay people are lesser human beings. There is no such thing. There are people who are misguided and who are led astray from truth. And I'm not going to get biblical on you. I mean, you guys know that. But I'm just saying this is common sense. This is human rights is common sense. We're all here. This is our world. It also pisses me off that people are willing to be duped, you know, that, that, that they can't turn on that light and say, no, maybe maybe something's wrong here, you know. Which is what you'll see if you watch this movie. You'll see how the daughter believes the rhetoric, the the propaganda, if you will. Um, so yeah. Anyway, watch the movie. Check out that page I'm talking about. Um, but please, I mean, if you're gonna go over there, don't be a cock about it. Don't be an ass. Just because I am trying my best to not be a dick on this on this channel. Um, yes, I stand my ground. Yes, I believe in what I believe in. But I'm not going to talk down to somebody for believing something else. I just, I mean, I want people to understand that everybody deserves equal rights. Every fucking person on this planet deserves equal rights. Not special rights. Equal rights. This is about gay marriage. This is about everything surrounding gay people being fucked with. Whether it's in a, in a seemingly nice manner, like this guy tries to put out, or straight up hate speech. I hate that. Yes, I hate that. That is the one thing that I hate. I mean, I don't like a lot of things, but I hate it when people fuck with other people who can't stand up for themselves. They're a 1-2% to part of the population, as he puts it. So he's a bully. You're a bully. Period. Peace.